Hey guys, what is up? This is Avi here for the CS61B Extra Credit Project. Um, in this video, I'll be explaining what changes I made to end body extreme and body extreme.java and what I tried to do. So the challenge that I took up was trying to make um, a spaceship um, fly around on the screen using the arrow keys on my keyboard and then also still have the same properties of physics that other planets had as well. So that's exactly what I implemented in this scenario. Right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is say Java C and body extreme Java compile my file, and then I'm running it on the basic planets.txt. What I ended up implementing was that I added in my own um, end body um, class, which is a spaceship, and I gave it some properties, some initial properties. Um, it's currently a very heavy spaceship, so that it doesn't get tossed around my planets too easily. And you can see it on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and this is my planet. As you can see, it just flew off the screen. So in this scenario, what's happening is that the it hits the sun immediately and it goes off. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run it again and control it with my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and hit this one more time and then go to my spaceship. So over here now, I'm controlling my spaceship and I want to show you like what the console is printing out um, over here. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me move this over here. So what I did was that I created three different settings for my boosts. I have three different boosts for the spaceship. I have one that's 100. And as you can see, as I hit the up arrow, nothing's happening. I have one that's 1,000. That makes it a little bit stronger. And then 10,000. That really throws it off the screen. So in this scenario, I applied the uh, using the standard draw is key press method. I applied it for the up arrow, the down arrow, the right arrow, the left arrow, as well as three keys the number one key, the number two key, and the number three key. So what's happening here now is I set the boost back to a thousand, so it's a little bit less sensitive. And now the spaceship is acting like another planet where it revolves around the sun. Um, and in this scenario now, I can go ahead and set it to a hundred, which makes it even less and bring it back down on the screen. Let me go ahead and do that. Actually, let me do a thousand, so it comes back a bit faster. And this is basically just of the project. So in this scenario, now you have a completely awesome spaceship that can be controlled by your keyboard and you use the arrow keys up, left, down, and right in order to increment and decrement the velocity of the XX vel and YY vel positions of the spaceship. And then on top of that, I added three boost methods, one, two, and three, that sets the change in which you wanna actually accelerate. For example, if you wanna really boost out of the solar system, you can set it to 10,000 and just go off the screen. Otherwise, if you want it to be less sensitive, you can go ahead and set it to 100 by using one, two, three on your keyboards. Anyways, thanks so much for listening, guys. This was my end body extreme and body extreme video for AP or CS61B. Um, again, this does implement the body class and the body end body classes in the project. And so far it looks like the spaceship does maneuver with the keyboard and does have extra properties such as the boost as well. Thanks so much for listening guys and I will see you in a future video.